hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome my name is sharon and please consider subscribing for more amazing content so in today's video i'm basically going to be showing you guys how you can cut and sew your closures and frontal lace so without wasting much time let's head right into the video so we'll be using the swiss lace for this this is our regular swiss lace and you also need like a tape, your scissors, um, thread and your, sorry, needle and your transparent thread. And then you need something to mark the lace with. Okay, so for me, I use concealers. You can use like a chalk or anything that you can just basically use to mark out the lace. Okay, okay let's start from the 2 by 4 closure. Okay, so when you hear 2 by 4 closure, what that means is that... The closure is running two inches horizontally that's from here to here two inches and from the top to bottom four inches okay it's the same thing with um, two by six closure that is two inches from here to here and six inches from here to here right the same thing with four by four four by four basically just means from here to here is four and from here to here is four then five by five six by six seven by seven whatever um size of closure is the same thing okay so to cut a two by four closure because that's what we're starting with to cut a two by four closure the first thing that you want to take note of is the direction of the grid on your lace okay so this is the lace if you look closely You'd see the grids. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm going to do a video to show you what I'm trying to say. Okay, you see the grids, which is the holes. Okay, so you see like the grids or the holes running in a straight line, in a straight line, and that is where you want. Um, that is how you want to place your closure. Okay, so you don't want to turn it this way. But you want it to be this way in a way that the holes are running towards this direction to be just take a closer look at it and you see where the holes the direction the holes are going towards and that's how you want to cut the lace okay that's how you want to measure so first we're going to measure the four inches so to measure the four inches you just basically want to place your tape at the start of the lace and then just measure the four inches but what you want to do is this when you want to measure the four inches you want to add like an extra for me i add extra two inches because you know um that extra lace you have on your lace after ventilating that you normally cut off during installation so that's like the two extra inches that you're going to leave okay inches instead of four inches so now that we have our six inches you're just going to mark mark the point where you have the six inches okay okay so we're starting from the top and then six inches there so now i want to mark two inches running from this side to this side so for that i add extra one inch when i want to do this because we need extra space to sew so instead of two inches, we'll be marking out, we'll be taking three inches instead. So I'm just going to place that here. Right, so we have three inches from here to here, here and six inches from here to here. So we're going to cut this out now. So you want to also give like a slightly curved shape at the end. So you see what this is looking like already. So this is what this is looking like. So we have six inches from the start to the bottom four inches from here to here 
and three inches from here to here so now you're going to fold it the ends so you're just going to fold it into two and then you pin with your office pin I'm just basically folding the ends and pinning them with my office pins to hold it together so I can easily sew it. This is what it's looking like so far. This is what it's looking like. So if you have a sewing machine, you can just um, sew it round or if you don't, you can use your needle and thread. So sew up all these parts together. So now let's take the measurement and see. So after sewing, this is what we are going to have. You can see that we took six inches, and after folding, we have five and a half inches. And on this side, we have two and a half inches and we took three inches so this is the reason why you need to give extra space so we're going to use the same process for making a 13 by 4 front house so watch and understand what i'm doing So what I basically just did was that after cutting out the 14 by 6 inches, I folded it into two and pinned the two sides with my office pin. So I did like a curved angle from the bottom um, going to the top as you can see and I did it halfway. So I stopped and then just cut off the excess lace that we would not be needing. So just watch and understand the remaining parts.